explain you what's the difference of buying a new construction house versus resale house. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor with EXP Realty. Today, I'm gonna explain to you what's the difference of buying a new construction house versus resale house or used house. But before I start this video, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And the most important thing, you know that, smash that like button for me and share this video to all your family and friends. Because you know why? Sharing is caring. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So first thing I would like to say here, if, if you are buying a resale house or used house compared to new construction house is the interest rate right now if you are watching this one or this video at this current market september 2023 the interest rate is quite high compared last year interest rate or two years interest rate ago okay so right now if you are buying a resale house or used house is very competitive why because you will pay what is the current interest rate however you can do that or negotiate that with the seller who's selling the property to buy down interest rate for you okay what is the buy down interest rate right now so buy down interest rate means like some seller or some mortgage or lender what they can do is they could offer you a 2-1 buy down promo interest rate okay this is what happened on your first year instead of paying right now the interest rate is 7.5 i guess or i think so the first year instead of paying 7.5 you will be probably paying 3.99% or maybe 4 point something percent. Your second year, probably 4.5% or 4.9%. Your third year will be 6 point something percent or 5 point something percent. And that's gonna be your 2-1 buy down interest rate. For disclaimer, I am not a lender. I am a real estate agent. I just learned this one from the lender company which just I attend and then they show me how this works. So I have like a basic idea of how this buy down interest rate works works however if you want to know more about this 2-1 buy down interest rate let me know comment down below or text me in inbox me call me and i will help you to explain you more what this 2-1 buy down interest rate works okay or i can connect you with one of my preferred lender or lender who could help us to get you pre-approved and explain more about 2-1 buy down interest rate sounds good so let's say if you're buying a resale house that's what we're gonna pick the current interest rate right now however if you are going to buy a new construction house you are still paying the current market or current interest rate right now which could be around 7.5 or 7 percent around that number however some lender from the builder are giving incentive as a promotional interest rate but the thing is though or the catch of that one you need to use their service their lender from the builder to get the promo interest rate and also it's not about like that one once you qualify for let's say instead of 7 point something 7.5 or 7 percent interest rate you are probably paying around 5.5 or 5.99 percent it depends on the current promo interest rate or incentive from the builder or the lender of the builder which are giving you to get this promo interest rate because as you know quite high the catch of this one you need close the property within 60 days out okay i think that's the maximum that you need to close the property why because they need to lock the interest rate rate okay if you're gonna buy a new construction house what will happen if you use the lender you will get that promo interest rate but however make sure that you're gonna close the property within 30 days or 60 days out after you sign under contract okay because some lender they cannot lock the interest rate if your house is going to build from the scratch let's say you want to buy a property in this particular lender and property is just going to build and it takes like let's say six months to build or more Other Obviously, you cannot lock the interest rate of that particular property because it takes time to build the property. So whatever is the current interest rate, that's what you're going to pay. Let's say you under contract for newly built house or you, your house is going to build from the scratch for six months. So you cannot lock the interest rate. However, you can get under contract. Okay, that's clear. So what will happen is 
is once you sign under contract your house gonna start built from the scratch so what will happen is two months out or two months before your closing that's normally what they gonna lock the interest rate and by then some builder or lender of the builder that's what they give you what's the interest rate on that particular future month you know what i'm trying to say so that's the good thing about buying new construction because you will have some incentive compared to resale house or use house so in the use house normally you cannot close the property within 30 to 60 days anyway so if you have like a new construction move in ready or quick move in ready compared to resale house what would you choose i would rather choose the new construction why because if you're going to use the lender of the new construction house they are giving you a such huge interest promo rate compared to the normal lender however as i said you can always negotiate that interest rate to the seller who's selling the property for you okay if you have a good realtor working with you so that's the number one comparison second is how about the peace of mind or warranty when you are buying a new construction compared to resale house or used house so if you are going to buy a used house or resale house most likely the seller doesn't give you any warranty on that particular property unless you're gonna use a realtor and the realtor who's making or doing your contract and then this realtor put some contract that they can have a warranty company for a year on your contract saying this property or as you buyer wants a one-year property a one-year warranty for this particular property for the resale house you can do that however we are not really sure if the seller will accept that some company are charging between six hundred dollars five hundred dollars up to thousand dollars to get this property or resale house as a warranty for a year only for a year sometimes they do two years three years it depends on the property itself and then also it depends on the price as well if the seller will accept that offer okay however let's go to new construction so if you're gonna buy a new construction most likely is they will have at least five years minimum five years structure warranty of property okay what is the structure warranty of the property so structure warranty of the property is where is the roof okay where is the roof and also the walls or the cement or you know the outside structure of your property okay if you have some cracks in the property within two years time three years time when you're living there you have some leak in the roof within two or three years time you are covered do you know how much it will cost you once you have like a roof problem if you have like a normal 1600 square footage you are probably estimating at least ten thousand dollars just to change the roof of that whole property okay however if you're gonna buy a new construction house some builder give you five years warranty some of them giving you six year warranty seven year warranty but for the builder or for the property that i just closed for new construction house most of my clients they gave them 10 years warranty for the structure which is include the roof and also the structure of the property which is all the walls okay so those things are really good because you have a peace of mind for 10 years compared to the resale house which is only you can have a probably a year warranty which you need to negotiate again to the seller if the seller will agree to your request or to your agreement or to your contract that they are accepting about the this year warranty and the seller willing pay for that okay remember that one and here lastly but not the least it's not all about new construction however if you're gonna buy a new resale house or used house you can negotiate the price more on compared to new construction okay however i'm not saying you cannot negotiate the price in new construction but you will have more chance to negotiate the price on the resale house or used house compared to new construction why because you are talking only to the seller or to the real estate agent who are representing the seller you can talk to each other and giving some suggestion how much that you want to negotiate this property all right for example for the resale or use house you want to buy this property is listed for four hundred thousand, and you as a buyer saw that property and you like it and you see some minor damage or something that you don't like and you confront the seller saying hey the seller this property has some minor damage we can negotiate about that and i'll give you around three hundred eight thousand just to fix this minor damage and we can under contract and the seller can say yes i can accept that 
However, in new construction, most of the time they will say, no, this is our price. However, we're giving you a 10 years warrant, right? Compared to negotiate the price. And also they are willing to give you a promotional interest rate compared to resale house, right? So those are the things that you can think about. Either you're gonna buy a new construction house or a resale house or used house, okay? If this is you, what would you choose? Would you rather choose or buy a new construction or a resale or used house? Let me know in the comment box and also if you stay in this video until this end comment down below home buyers so i can see how many people who would like to buy a property right now and if you need my help find you the best property or the best community or new construction or resale house whatever you want to buy let me know i would be happy to help you out so thank you for watching this video until this end and i'll talk to you on my next video i'm out today peace what is going on guys this is rj bautista hold on my bottom is not That looks good, right? Let's do it again, part two.